Louis Anderson. Born March 24, 1953 in St. Paul, Minnesota. He was an American stand-up comedian, actor, author, and game show host. Anderson created the cartoon series Life with Louie and the television sitcom The Louie Show, and wrote four books, including Hey Mom! Stories for My Mother, But You Can Read Them Too, which was published in 2018. He was the fourth host of the game show Family Feud, from 1999 to 2002, in its third run and second revival. For his performance on the FX comedy television series Baskets, Anderson received three consecutive Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series nominations and won once in 2016. Anderson performed a stand-up show called Louie, Larger Than Life in Las Vegas, Nevada, from 2003 through 2012. The show originated at the Union Plaza Hotel downtown, before moving to Excalibur, South Point, and Palace Station Hotels. On November 20, 1984, Anderson made his network debut as a comedian on The Tonight Show. In late 1985, Anderson was cast as Lou Appleton alongside Bronson Pinchot on the pilot episode of Perfect Strangers for ABC when the show was picked up. Anderson was replaced by Mark Lynn Baker in the role of Appleton, whose first name was then changed from Lou to Larry, as the producers didn't think the chemistry between Anderson and Pinchot was quite right. The show ran for eight seasons on ABC. Anderson had a small role in the singing telegram scene in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, as well as appearing in a comedy special on Showtime. Anderson also played a role in John Landis's film Coming to America, which starred Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall, a role which he reprised in the 2021 sequel. Murphy requested Anderson be hired for Coming to America after producers wanted a white actor in the otherwise African-American cast. Murphy described his friend Anderson as the funniest white guy around. Anderson also starred in the 1988 camp comedy The Wrong Guys, based on a story by John Hughes. In 1989, Anderson guest starred on the first episode of the Muppets television segment of The Jim Henson Hour. In 1995, Anderson created and produced a Saturday morning animated series for Fox called Life with Louie. The series was based on Anderson's childhood with ten siblings, a sweethearted mother and a loud, war-crazed father. It also detailed how he was picked on for his weight, and how he used comedy to deal with the teasing. The show was a three-year hit on Fox, and won two Daytime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Performer in an Animated Program. Anderson created and starred in The Louie Show for CBS. The show had Anderson playing a psychotherapist in Duluth, Minnesota. The show ran six episodes and was cancelled. Anderson landed the role of host of the new version of Family Feud in 1999. Anderson organized a 9-11th-themed tournament week of family feud between the FDNY and the NYPD, putting up $75,000 toward both organizations for recovery from the September 11, 2001 attacks. From 2016 to 2019, Anderson played the part of Christine Baskets on the FX comedy series Baskets. Anderson won the 2016 Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series for his performance. In 1984, he married Diane Jean Vono, however, they divorced after four months. In 1985, he also married his high school sweetheart, Norma J. Walker. The marriage lasted only four weeks. In 1997, Anderson was blackmailed by Richard John Gordon, who threatened to tell tabloids that Anderson sexually propositioned him in a casino in 1993. Between 1997 and 1998, Anderson paid Gordon $100,000 in hush money, fearing that the story would threaten his starring roles in two family-oriented series, but when Gordon's demands increased to $250,000 in 2000, Anderson's lawyer informed federal authorities. Gordon, who was 31 at the time, was arrested after leading FBI agents on a high-speed chase along Santa Monica Boulevard. Gordon was fined and sentenced to 21 months in prison. In 2003, Anderson underwent two successful heart procedures. On January 18, 2022, it was announced that Anderson had been hospitalized in Las Vegas for large B-cell lymphoma. He had first been diagnosed with cancer a decade earlier, but kept the information private. He died of complications from the cancer three days later, on January 21, 2022, at the age of 68. Condolences go out to his loved ones, if you have a fond memory of Louis Anderson please share it below.